Hello everyone, welcome back. So now we are learning cross product, cross product of relation. Here, cross product is something which returns you all the possible tuples, combination of tuples. What I mean by saying is, if we have, let's say, two R1, R2, and let's say we have X1, X2. So if you do cross product of these two let's say this is one relation this is another relation now if you do cross product of this two it will give you r1 and then with r1 you have combination of these two that is x1 x2 then with r2 you have combination both that is x1 x2 okay so it, it returns you all the possible combination of the rows fine so this is basically cross product so what we have to see is the first one is that here this this operation is really very costly and only few rows are meaningful for us okay so generally what happens whenever we apply this cross product it is generally followed by select operation so let's write it down now let's say if we have two tuples or two relation R1 and R2 and these two relations have let's say number of attributes attributes is let's say uh, A and B okay and the number of tuples in both the relations are that is number of tuples are let's say N1 and N2 okay then in this case what will be the resultant that is r1 r1 cross r2 what will be the resultant number of attributes so the the number of attributes will be a plus b okay and the number of tuples will be n1 cross n2 n1 into n2 okay now let's take an example on this so here we have two tables and we have to find out cross product between these two tables and these relations are student and grade so let's consider a scenario and we have to find out the student student name whose grade is whose grade is a okay so we have to find out here we have to find out student name having grade a so first of all what we will do we will find out the cross product between th these two relations that is student cross grade fine now I'm not going to show you the cross product between these two tables it will go longer I'll show in notation so first of all if we find out the cross product we will have 3 into 3 9 tuples in a relation having these name roll number and grade as a column right and roll number and grade also will be there fine now there may be a case here if you have let's say we are not considering that this table is referring this table maybe some other table is there okay I and mean, what I mean to say is I'm not considering that this roll number is here foreign key from this table where it is a primary key okay the the parent table is some something else okay we will just consider that these two are the given relationship now we will first of all find out student cross grade and then we will select a row okay whose grade is equal to a okay so g equal to grade is equal to a now the rows will be filtered out and we will left with the rows of the student whose grade is a and then what we will do we will apply project operation so project what is asked name is asked okay so we will just project the row having this name only so we will take name okay so that's how the cross product is used in our relational algebra and this is how it runs internally in the system in any SQL system so I hope this is clear thanks for watching